Hey YouTube, it's your Kickmaster John Vasquez back with another video. And today we are going to be going over a sparring clip of one of the greatest Taekwondo players that America has ever produced or ever had, and that is with Juan Moreno, who is the owner and program creator of the Peak Nation uh, sparring program. So he's got a lot of knowledge, he brings a lot to the table. This was back in 99, I believe, maybe early 2000. It was Olympic team trials. And so it's an awesome video clip, not just to mention that it's gonna be a video clip of him uh, sparring, but it's gonna have an analysis breakdown of our very own Grandmaster Herb Perez. And this was part of the gold medal production company back in 1999. So the thing I really like about this matchup, which I think you're gonna like as well, not just the narration of the breakdown, but this is gonna be a classic matchup of master versus student. And when you have a player that is so much better than their opponent, I feel these are the way matches should go. That the, the lesser player shouldn't even be able to touch the other player, let alone score any points. Um, they're just gonna be totally outclassed. So you're gonna see that here in this matchup. And when you have a matchup like that, it should be very easy for the elite level player to win those types of matches. You don't see that much today, which I find this is very unique. So uh, we're gonna get into that clip. Again, narration by our very own Grandmaster Herb Perez. He's gonna break it down. And this is round one. These are gonna be three videos here for the first round, second round, and third round. All right, enjoy. In order to become a champion, you must learn how to control your first match of the day. In this first match, Juan Moreno demonstrates how to control the match and set the tone for the rest of his day. Notice how Juan opened with a strong attack, trying to drive his opponent backwards. He re-enters again, forcing his opponent out of bounds and down to the floor. Finally, his opponent counters with a front leg whip kick that misses. Now Moreno changes his look, covers, skips in, and executes a counter kick. After the initial outburst, both opponents settle down trying to find an opening in which to score a point. Juan follows with a nice double kick, scoring to the chest protector. Notice how he's working his close stance attacks. He stays on the edge of the ring, forcing his opponent back into the corner. Raises his opponent to the stomach, forcing his opponent to the ground. In a beautiful escape move, he ducks and turns. Notice the timing, the execution, and the late count. Once again, skip motion, fast kick to the stomach. This is an excellent game in that Juan is working his close stance attack, forcing his opponent to have no openings in order to score with his rear leg to his stomach. He adds a little check motion, a little fake, then he goes back to regular motion. In order to control your opponent, it's important to change your look during a match. In this match, Juan is constantly changing his look, adding motion, checks, initial steps, and then entering with a fast kick attack. Once again, the fake cut kick, he comes back down, enters with a fast kick to the stomach. This is an awesome attack for Juan and you'll see him use it throughout the day. The 
best part about this attack is that the opponent can't read it well and doesn't escape well enough to avoid the counter or the attack. Once again, check motion. Trying to force his opponent off balance. The opponent once again doesn't step back far enough to avoid Juan's attack. Now he changes his look to an open stance. Notice how his opponent is trying to figure out what to do. Yet Juan is able to attack at will. One of the crucial mistakes that his opponent made was not changing his look. He remained in close stance with his right leg back, not forcing Juan to look for a different look. In this way, Juan was very comfortable with his left leg forward. Now we move into our second round. 